So I'm going to California. What? Uh, for the Chicago oh, Hollywood? Yes. Oh really? my God. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, Can you take it. us? Yes, you guys want to go? We yes. do need actress. Well, listen, I'm an actress and I would love to go to Hollywood with him. Right? With me? Right? Yes. So I got a hotel. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. God, oh, God, God, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have a better selfie stick, though. My selfie stick better. It comes with these abs. What? My girls now. The stuff that cost more than cash and these ads? Look, it's like it's like it's a, it's a package deal though. Really? All right, do it. Give me a shot. All right, guys. Tonight we're going to be talking about classroom design and how the arrangement of your room is important for classroom learning. So, what we're going to talk about is a good classroom setup that accommodates the instructional program. Its flexibility in order to make things adjust quickly, looks at traffic patterns, it's functional, and it's pleasing and comfortable. What I mean by traffic patterns is you might have students that are gonna be in wheelchairs or possibly walkers, so you're gonna want them to be able to get in and out of the classroom easily. You might want to, this might be a good thing to do in the classroom, you might want to sit in the seats of the students to see where their visuals will be. And okay, you know what, guys? I'm just gonna send you the PowerPoint presentation. It'll probably be easier for you to take notes or something. Oh, oh! There we go. She better get selfie with the selfie guy.